Hello and good morning. Uh, today I have summarised cystic fibrosis and pregnancy tox tog article for you. I hope you'll find this useful and if you do then please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Cystic fibrosis is an autosomal recessive condition. It's mutation of genes on chromosome 7 which is, a, which is responsible for a chloride channel in membranes of epithelial cells. Reduced chloride conductance results in viscid secretions and organ damage in respiratory, um, reproductive, pancreatic and hepatobiliary ducts. Life expectancy is reduced. Main cause of death is respiratory failure due to progressive bronchiectasis and persistent lung infections with organisms like Pseudomonas um, aeruginosa, uh, Staphylococcus aureus and Burkholz. Burkholderia cypatia. Uh, Other complications like pancreatic insufficiency, diabetes, osteoporosis, liver disease and gallstones. 8,000 people um, are living with cystic fibrosis in the UK and 1 in 25 of the population is a carrier of cystic fibrosis gene mutation. Median survival in UK is now 31 years. So menstruation generally occurs slightly later in girls with cystic fibrosis and body weight is the most significant determination of uh, menarche. Once um, menstruation is established, the majority have regular cycles with amenorrhea most likely to occur in girls with poor lung function. Nearly all men with cystic fibrosis are infertile, but women with cystic fibrosis have relatively um, normal fertility despite having thickened cervical mucus, which does not show um, the usual cyclical variation. Combined oral contraceptive pill is most frequently used. Long-term methods such as depo, implant, Mirena are highly effective and avoid concerns regarding malabsorption. Long-term use of depo can aggravate osteoporosis, which is a complication of cystic fibrosis itself. If termination is required, then usual methods like surgical or medical can be used. Approximately 30 to 40 women with cystic fibrosis undertake pregnancy each year in the UK. There's high rates of miscarriage, preterm delivery and stillbirth. Proportion of live births is 70 to 90% and spontaneous miscarriage rate is no higher than in general population. Prematurity rate is approximately 25%. There's no reports of higher rates of congenital malformation in babies born to mothers with cystic fibrosis. Average weight in pregnancy for healthy women is 10 to 12 kilograms. Um, the additional calorific requirement of pregnancy can be difficult to achieve with cystic fibrosis and pancreatic, pancreatic insufficiency. The average weight gain in term pregnancy for cystic fibrosis patients is 5.5 to um, 10.3 kilograms. Low BMI prior to conception increases incidence of miscarriage and premature delivery. Babies born to women with cystic fibrosis are in general appropriately grown for the gestation age. Pre-existing um, and gestational diabetes are more common in pregnancies in women with cystic fibrosis, incidence is between 14 to 20 percent and increase the risk of pregnancy complications including preterm delivery and stillbirth. The mode of delivery depends on obstetric indications, maternal health and gestation age. Effects of pregnancy on cystic fibrosis of pregnancy does not significantly shorten survival. Um, after uh, adjustment for the severity of cystic fibrosis, women who became pregnant did not have significantly shortened survival. This included subgroup women with poor lung function. Um, caution regarding uh, pregnancy is advised. However, as, indiv as individual uh, women respond differently and some women's health will deteriorate during and after pregnancy, the long-term prognosis needs consideration as 20% of mothers will not live to see their child's 10th birthday, rising to 40% for those women with poor lung, lung function at the beginning of pregnancy. Pre-pregnancy lung function taught um, if the pre-pregnancy lung function is um, FEV1 uh, is 70% 70, 70 predicted, um, then they tolerate pregnancy very well and have the most successful outcome and the lowest mortality, maternal mortality. As lung function declines, the risk of poor pregnancy outcome increases along with maternal mortality. Um, 
Pulmonary hypertension and core pulmonale are considered absolute contraindications to pregnancy in view of the high probability of maternal death during pregnancy or delivery. Maternal infection with um, with B. Um, cepatia may be a, a relative contraindication to pregnancy as the reports of poor pregnancy outcome and high maternal mortality associated with the presence of the organism. Um, cystic fibrosis, in cystic fibrosis women who become pregnant um, have less severe disease. Women with cystic fibrosis who have, under, who have undergone lung or um, heart lung transplants and are contemplating pregnancy uh, merit special consideration. Women are generally advised to wait two to three years post transplant before considering better nutritional status than women who do not. So for pre-pregnancy counselling, assessment of severity and rate of progression of the disease um, should be discussed. Frank discussion about the challenges of parenthood when coping with a life-limiting disease is important. The possibility of maternal death and a partner being left alone to bring up a young child is a difficult topic to discuss. Partner testing is advised. Risk of child being born with cystic fibrosis um, if, if, the if the partner is normal. Um, all children will be carriers. If the partner does not um, carry, um, the risk of affected child is 1 in uh, 1 to 250. Um, partner, if the partner does carry, then the risk is 1 in 2. If required, antenatal diagnosis can be performed by chorion chorionic villus biopsy in the first trimester, alternatively in IVF um, with a pre-implantation genetic diagnosis is an option, uh, albeit not widely available in the UK. Folic acid supplementation prior to conception and during the first trimester is advised to reduce risk of neural tube defects. Um, Glucose tolerance tests uh, uh, for cystic fibrosis patients, uh, for cystic fibrosis related diabetes or impaired glucose tolerance and refer to specialists with cystic fibrosis related diabetes before conception. Optimization of glycemic control will reduce risk of congenital malformation and pregnancy complications. Management during pregnancy requires an MDT approach, cystic fibrosis team, um, an obstetrician with experience in cystic fibrosis, midwife and obstetric anaesthetist. Attention should be prepared to the nutritional status and weight gain during pregnancy. Um, common uh, pregnancy symptoms like vomiting and um, gastroesophageal reflux can make it more difficult to maintain um, food intake. Pulmonary function should be monitored throughout. Infection, infective exacerbation of the lung disease should be managed aggressively and may require hospital admission for administration of IV antibiotics and physiotherapy. Physiotherapy can become more challenging as the pregnancy advances. Alternate, alternative techniques may be needed. Incidence gestational diabetes are higher in cystic fibrosis and failure to diagnose and treat it may be associated with poorer um, pregnancy outcome. Cystic Fibrosis Trust recommends performing GTT in the first trimester and 24 to 28 weeks in all women who have normal glucose tolerance prior to pregnancy. Women with pre-existing or gestational diabetes need careful monitoring to optimize pregnancy outcome. Drugs used in management um, of cystic fibrosis generally tend to be safe in pregnancy. First trimester ultrasound sc uh, scan for accurate dating is required. Second trimester anomaly scan. Pre-existing diabetes should be offered a fetal echo and regular ultrasound scan for fetal growth and well-being in the third trimester. So delivery individualized plan should be made uh, depending on the gestation age, disease severity and fetal well-being. Elective preterm delivery if maternal health and lung function is declining um, or this fetal growth restriction most likely um, to be by cesarean section. Corticosteroids for fetal lung uh, maturation. Vaginal delivery at term if maternal health and fetal health is both well. Lung function to be optimized prior to delivery. Admission in third trimester for intensive physio and antibiotics followed by induction of labor or cesarean section. For anesthesia, for cesarean section, regional or general anesthesia, epidural catheter can be left in situ to assist with pain relief and post-op chest physio. Vaginal delivery, epidural analgesia um, can be considered, especially for pain relief, and also alleviates maternal fatigue and reduces risk of uh, needing general anesthesia. Sh um, should emergency cesarean section be required, um, it will all facilitate a long passive um, um, 
a longer passive second stage if necessary, as women with cystic fibrosis are likely to become very tired in the active second stage and are unable to push effectively if they have reduced lung function. Breastfeeding, breast milk has a normal compos composition. Breast breastfeeding um, can be exhausting and uses up calories. Women with cystic fibrosis may find it difficult to breastfeed exclusively and if unable to maintain their weight, alternative feeding should be discussed. So this is um, a table which shows key components of pregnancy management in women with cystic fibrosis. We've already gone through these, so I'll leave you for you to look at them. Well, many thanks for watching. Um, that was a summary of the cystic fibrosis talk article. I hope you found this useful. And if you do, then please do give this video a thumbs up and don't and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And leave a comment if there's anything you'd like to watch um, and any um, specific topics that you'd like me to make videos for.